What's up Nerf Herders? This is Alan from OC Nerf and today we're going to be taking a look at the Omni Kit. This is the expansion kit for the Alpha Kit from Jet Blasters that will allow it to fire both full length and half length darts. The kit comes with four parts. This new barrel here, a provided spring, a new dart pusher, and a metal cap for the plunger tube. We're going to be taking a look at different tests that I'm going to be running both with full length darts, half length darts. I will be testing darts that normally don't work very well in barreled systems like waffle tips or even the new uh, precise pro darts which are really precise but also really high performing um, darts uh, from Busby. They're as precise if not more precise than the waffles or AccuStrike but they have higher FPS and travel much better. So we're going to be taking a look at that. We're obviously going to be taking a look at different half length darts as well as this case boasts the ability to fire both rather easily. We're going to be taking a look at different combinations as I swap out different barrels and, and mix and match the parts between the Alpha Kit and the Omni Kit. Uh, we're going to take a look at what this kit's purpose is and how different configurations of the Alpha and the Omni Kit will serve different purposes. We're going to be taking a look at the parts themselves as a as kind of a, a difference between the Alpha specifications and the Omni specifications. And then I'll be giving you uh, my thoughts, my opinions on this uh, kit overall. So without further ado, let's get started with the testing. We'll be doing the FPS test starting with the Elite Darts. to the waffle darts. Let's be precise pro darts. Got a bit of a jam. Another jam. The issue in both of those cases is the pusher was pushing into the the dart into the breech. Perhaps the rubber heads here were catching the sides of the barrel and they were not getting a complete seal. Last two. try half length darts out of the katana magazine. We are starting with the prototype hard tips, then the sweet oranges, then three blue artifacts soft tip, three red artifacts soft tip. Sweet oranges. Artifact. Red. And empty. We'll be doing the FPS test now. We'll be starting with the Elite Darts. Alerts. We will be 
using these blue and green tip darts. using these Busby Precise Pro darts. Note on that last one, I was having some difficulty with the followers sticking in this particular magazine. These magazines were purchased from uh, Lytek, the others seem to be fine, but this one in particular was having a lot of trouble feeding the darts. And now we'll be moving on to the half length darts, starting with three prototypes, three sweet oranges, and then six of the artifact ones with blue first, then red. With the exception of the first three, these are all soft, soft tip darts. Let's see how this loads and fires. Uh, that was a double. That was a single. Sweet oranges. Last sweet orange. Uh, that one, unfortunately, the dart, uh, the dart guide cut into that one, so we can't use that. Now we'll move on to the three blue artifacts. magazine it is having an issue with double feeding it is definitely having an issue with double feeding out of that magazine okay last three these are the three red artifacts nope and having an issue with feeding This is a combination issue of the magazine and the pusher, the new pusher. The magazine here works on the normal alpha kit as it is not all the way forward. It is slightly center aligned, but I don't think it's center aligned enough, unlike the katana. So the issues that we're having here is that it's either trying to double feed and squish darts or it's going to cut one of the darts. A uh, similar issue with the alpha kit using a more forward aligned magazine. Careful feeding does allow it to work. So I'm going very slow. And last. Okay. I have gone ahead and replaced the Omni barrel back with the original alpha barrel, which has a tighter inner diameter. I'm going to be testing this with both full length darts and elite uh, and short length darts. My suspicion is that it will have trouble loading in the full length darts because of the tighter barrel, and that it will perhaps load just fine with the half length darts. The purpose you may have for using an alpha barrel with the half length darts is if you were hoping to use a better barrel seal, 
but still wanted to keep the FPS relatively low. I haven't shot this for FPS testing, so we'll find out together how well it will do. Starting first with an attempt with the full length darts. I will only be using the elite darts, as the other dart heads will not be able to fit through the smaller inner diameter barrel in the original Alpha. So far the first one seems to have loaded just fine, let's test fire. It has loaded, but perhaps this barrel is a bit too tight and the air seal is not good enough to sh shoot the dart. Let's try one more time. So as we can see here, the dart has seated into the barrel, about the length of a half length dart, but it does not have enough pressure in the current system to be able to launch this dart. Now I am using the spring that was provided, so that is a lower rated spring. However, I do believe that the air loss in the breech due to the non-existent seal uh, between the dart pusher and the breech is probably not going to push the dart at all. Uh, given that this didn't go through and it was in about the length of a half length dart, I'm suspicious that it will actually work with half length darts, but we'll give it a shot. Let me put this back in the alpha and we'll get to firing the half length. We'll now fire the half length dart, starting with a sweet orange. We'll see if this works. It chambers. Let's see if it will fire. No. The dart has loaded. Let's try one more time. Okay, the dart was somewhere in the barrel, but was not strong enough to fire. I'm going to try upgrading the spring to the 10 kilogram Nerf Turf spring. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than this given that the poor seal between the dart pusher and the breech really lets a lot of air escape. So anything higher, especially without plunger padding, which I would recommend anyhow, given that it doesn't hurt to pad your plunger, but without pl plunger padding and losing that much air, that piston will be moving pretty fast with very little resistance, and it'll practically be like slam firing your blaster. Uh, so a higher spring loads would not be recommended in my opinion. I'd probably keep it to 10 kg turf springs or the spring provided or lower of the two. I'll be back and I'll put in the new spring. All right, I've loaded up the kit with a 10 kg turf spring. We will again be trying the full length darts first, followed by the half length darts. Again, my suspicion is that there is too much of a air release between the pusher and the breech to give it enough pow air power to push a dart through the thinner inner diameter barrel of the Alpha Kit. We will see if that's going to be resolved with a higher spring load or not to see if uh, it can still use uh, the tighter barrel. Again, it loads just fine. There's no issues with that. Let's see if it'll fire. It does fire. I don't notice much of a difference between how much harder it's firing, um, but we'll check the results of the FPS with uh, the Omni barrel as well as this barrel. Now let's go ahead and move on to the half length darts. I've got a sweet orange loaded up and a couple of artifact blue soft tips. Looks just fine. Fires 130. And a red one. Rather inconsistent in the shooting. I'm going to venture to guess that the inconsistency here is going to be the release of air between the dart pusher and the, uh, the breech itself. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next test. Now in this test, I have gone ahead and replaced the Omni Pusher with the original Alpha Pusher. This is now getting a full seal. I am using the provided spring in the Omni, so this is the much weaker spring. Designed for lower FPS, but just to show you. 
it is a full seal. What we're going to do here is we're going to compare to see what the uh, results are when the seal is complete. So we're not going to be able to use full length darts as this is the alpha pusher and it will not fit the full length darts. However, we're going to be able to test this with the half length darts. We're going to be using the sweet oranges again. Sorry. Ideally, this is going to still fire. This is using the looser barrel, so it's not going to have the optimal barrel seal. It shouldn't be outputting as high power as it could with the alpha barrel, but it's also using the lower pressure spring. So let's take a look and see what happens. There you go, very consistently around uh, pretty close to the 100 mark. The full seal there is giving it a lot more consistency, so the FPS is lower. We are achieving an FPS of about 100, and the difference between this breach and the other breach, the Omni breach, is that the Omni breach, because of the way the air is escaping between the breach and the pusher, it's giving some rather inconsistent results. Sometimes the results are rather excellent, sometimes the results are rather poor. We're looking at just about elite performance to double elite performance in some cases. So it's not very consistent. However, as you can see here with a complete air seal, it's achieving close to 100 FPS, if not an average of about 100 FPS, but rather consistently. And a consistency of shots is significantly more important on the battlefield, even more so than the FPS. You can at least gauge how, how your shots are going to be and be able to account for it with some angling. In this test, I have gone ahead and replaced everything back to the original alpha kit here. And we're going to take a look at three shots with half-length darts. The first one being a red artifact, the next two being the sweet orange darts. And then I'm going to replace the barrel from the alpha barrel to the omni barrel and take another three shots. Two sweet oranges followed, lastly, by a red artifact. This is also going to be using the 10 kilogram turf springs. 177. These sweet oranges were purchased on lightake.com. 171. Now we're going to go ahead and change the barrel. Using the Omni barrel, and we're going to start with one sweet, two sweet oranges, followed by a red artifact. What I predicted, and the reason why I did this test, is that if you were at a game and you were running something like the Alpha, which was getting 160s to 170s here. With those specific darts, 177, I believe, was the high end for this test run. And you wanted to run it a little bit lower, closer to a 150 mark. Perhaps your game type wanted to do 150. Uh, all you would need to do is replace the barrel with the larger diameter Omni barrel. The inefficiencies of the barrel fit to the dart does drop the FPS uh, a good 20 to 30 points, it looks like. So, they are also pretty consistent but it does drop the FPS if that is important to you to stay within the 150 FPS mark for your specific game type. You can just bring your alpha kit, no need to unscrew or screw anything on the shell, just remove the barrel and put the Omni barrel on. And then if you wanted to go in the opposite direction and you wanted to have a little bit more power in your game, go ahead and unscrew the Omni barrel, keep the alpha internals, but then use the alpha barrel. It looks like that will work out just fine for you as well. Inside the inside the shell right now. I am running everything alpha with the exception of the metal back cap on the plunger tube. The original alpha was using a plastic cap with a rather uh, thin plastic, but it didn't really give me any trouble, though I have heard reports that there are others that have had issues with that breaking on them. I didn't experience that, and I've run this up to 16 kilograms uh, with no issues. However, 
it, logic would assume that metal would work out much nicer, so I'm keeping the metal on me inside of the uh, kit right now.